And, uh, well, I, I, I mean, my Spanish is horrible, uh, so forgive my English. But, uh, but uh, it sounds like you explained it pretty well, and, and I had nothing to do with this. Uh, that's the best part. I just got to show up and be amazed, uh, and hopefully, like all the rest of you feel, uh, because yeah, she she put this whole thing together, and, and as she said, we did a show in Washington uh, about six months ago, and it was one of those things that after I found her journey cosplay uh, on Twitter a, a little over a year ago, it was like we need to we need to find something to make together, and I couldn't figure out what it was for a little while, and then the show happened, and I found a partner in crime, a creative uh, partner <laughs> that I couldn't have imagined. And so then it was like, from there, okay, we need to think of a lot more things to do. So we started this project just for fun. It's like, a, yeah, like she said, it's like this kind of private sort of exercise back and forth. And then, and now it's evolved into this crazy uh, thing. So yeah, I basically have nothing to add to that. I'm just rambling. And I haven't even had any of this to play. So, uh, yes, I, it's a real pleasure. It's for my first time in Costa Rica, and I couldn't possibly have imagined a better reason to come. So, uh, thank you all from, from me as, as a tourist, basically, uh, for making this an incredible uh, evening. And I hope you all get a chance to see the rest. Yeah. Yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Okay. Angelita. I have a question. Yeah, okay. Everybody read That's about <laughs> Everybody read about how you both together. I mean, we know about something that I think you saw some kind of his uh, her I'm sorry things on Davinard and then you request her something like I'll that picture. Would, would, would you mind give us that your version? How was that? <laughs> Please. The true version of the story. Uh, <laughs> I, I, so she did I worked on the game journey. And she did the, this cosplay in Egypt um, mm -hmm. of the character, and it, it's I've seen a lot of Journey cosplay over. It's been five years the game has been out. I've seen a lot of cosplay. Some of it's quite amazing, but this was by far the best. Not just because the setting was perfect in the sand dunes of Egypt, but the costume was perfectly made and the photography was gorgeous. And so I was like, this is this is art. I mean, this is astounding. And so. Uh, we got in touch, and I just said, I'm a fan, I, 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 I don't know what to say to you other than I'm blown away. And, uh, and then I discovered she was a painter, and so the next thing that happened was uh, a very dear friend of mine was working uh, in visual effects at ILM on the Star Wars The Force Awakens. And he designed, if you saw the film, he worked for like six months on the shot at the opening of the first trailer of the Star Destroyer that's crashed in the desert. That's his shot he spent forever. It's like his baby. He also was pregnant, his wife was pregnant with a real baby. <laughs> He's a unique human. Uh, yeah, so they were, he and his wife were pregnant and they were going to be due, uh, you know, right before, right a few months later. And so I was trying to think of a nice gift for the birth. And when I discovered she was a painter, I said, will you take his shot of the Star Destroyer in the sand and make it your own? But then also add, instead of like Ray scavenging in her outfit, add like a couple with a little child so that it's him and their new forthcoming daughter. And she, and of course I said, and I was like paying for a commission, and I said, I'd love to, could I see like a work in progress? And she, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, so I was just like taking a leap of faith, uh, but I saw her pangs and I knew I would be happy at minimum. And finally, this thing shows up in the mail, and I like, was in tears. I just was the most incredible thing. And so then it was like, okay, well, we need, I need a steady flow of paintings from you now. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I saw a video on Facebook of her speed painting in a, in a gallery, and I was like, I was blown away that it was possible to do something of that level in like 30 minutes. Uh, and so I said, that's a show. We need to make a show. And so then there was an opportunity in Washington, D.C. to do it, and 1,500 people showed up, and she had never painted outside of those three before. She walked out there like a rock star and blew them away. Blew them away. Not only, that, so we said, this is, I love this part of the story. She said, you know, she's an artist, she sells her work. So I said, uh, let's sell the painting in Washington, D.C. 
And we didn't figure out how to do that. And after the show was over, people just rushed to the stage wanting to buy it right then and there. So she sold it two seconds after the show was over. And then the next day we were gonna be doing the improvised <coughs> painting and someone bought that at the same time. <laughs> Completely without having a clue what we were gonna do. They just said, I'll buy tomorrow's painting. It's I was so, I was like, no, I'm glad that other people are starting to catch up to what I have witnessed here. So anyway, that's my version of the story. Cuenta tu versión, Angelita. <laughs> Cuenta tu versión. No, okay. <laughs> oh, we both were. Neither of us ever did anything like this. We were both. We were. We were, we were both terrified. We both said we're both going to either emerge victorious or die together. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out okay. <laughs>